Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Those of you who've watched my course vlogs with Dan or anything I've done will know that putting is one of my strengths, especially within sort of eight to six feet. It's one of my strengths, I very rarely miss. Um, and that's because I've been using the sink putter, which is a bladed type putter, got a bit of a toe hang as you can see here. And I've enjoyed putting with it. But then I got a delivery. And that delivery had something very, very pretty in it. So I wanna see if this new pretty putter is as good as or better than my sink putter when it comes to putting. Because um, I like it. Because I want my putting to be the best part of my game. Um, it, it probably is at the moment but I just want to tighten it all up. So I have now installed on the GC Quad the putting software, which gives me the ability to be able to fit putters better than I was using with the X-Putt because I can put the dots on the face and I will know absolutely everything about what the club is doing. So I'm going to sit in the studio, I'm going to hit a series of putts with this putter and I'm going to hit a series of putts with the new putter and I'm going to see which one gives me the best numbers. But I'm also now going to go out onto the course and just hit some putts around the green and see what the difference is and feel um, and whether I feel more comfortable with it. What's the putter? Let's go and find out. And the club is the new Spider X putter from TaylorMade. This thing is a thing of beauty. Um, absolutely love it. It is uh, the new lineup markers on the top, the little dots look fantastic. It has a new inserted face, which is designed to help the ball roll a little bit better. Um, it's got the weights at the back here, which is designed to give you better MOI. So what that's gonna do is stop the club twisting on off center strikes, so it's gonna help the ball go on its natural path. All in all, it looks phenomenal, but it's a big step away from what I'm used to using, which is a bladed putter. So I'll be interested to see how it feels around the green and what results I get when it comes to this putter compared to my putter. So I've set up, say so set up, I've just chucked some balls down, some balls around the pin just to sort of get a feel back for my putter and then I'm going to see how the Spider X feels in comparison. This is comfort, I do enjoy this putter, I really enjoy it. But for me, I can sometimes just lose the head a little bit, which is something that worries me with this putter. And this is the distance that I'm comfortable with but I can sometimes feel like I can drag it left a little bit, but now that's uh, perfectly fine. Just feels ha, wrapped around it. Just feels good, this putter. Something I've never thought I'd change. But that Spider X just looks phenomenal. Right, let's, uh, let's hit some of that Spider X and see what that's like. I have to say, to line up, so much easier because the head feels stable on the floor. So it feels so much easier to line up. Yeah, it, <laughs> it's just um, so much more stable. I feel I can line it up, keep the putter in the same place, and just do a nice swing through. Whereas with the other one, I can just feel like sometimes I can lose the head. This is, feels phenomenal. Like I'm not missing. <laughs> I am not missing with this. Just line it up, get stable, back and through. That's in as well. 
I'm filling this hole up, there's no more room in this hole. Oh, can we make it? Oh, can I fill them all in the hole? Enough to come off the right. Like, I think this is, just speaks for itself. The way I can line it up. Yeah, that was in. Well, I have to say, it's so much easier to line up. The stability in the head when you go back and through is there to feel um, like I made them all. <laughs> made every single one. Let's go back into the studio. Let's look at the data that I got comparing them both together and see if there's any differences there. But out here so far, it feels ridiculous. Right, so we've come back in to just have a little look at the data. So Potter is my Sync Potter Spider X, well, the Spider X. So the ball speed is a little bit faster with the Spider X. The standard deviation is pretty similar, 0.1, which is when it comes to putting, I'm looking for the standard deviation. I'm looking for the consistency of that putter. Launch angle 3.5, but there's a big, big um, launch angle standard deviation there, 3.3. With the Spider X, it's 4.6, and then the standard deviation is 0.2, so it's a lot more consistent. And you want a little bit of launch because when a ball sits on the green, it sort of sits down a little bit in, on the ground, and when you hit the putt, you kind of want to just give it a kick out of that like little indentation it would have put itself into. So the fact that the launch angle is a little bit higher, I like. Forward roll, 246, quite a big standard deviation of 344 or 205 with a bit of a tighter standard deviation. Carry in inches. So this is when you're doing a putt, you get a little bit of carry, then you'll get a bit of skid, and then the ball will start rolling. What you want it to do is roll as quick as possible. That's the idea. So carry a little bit, 6.5 inches or 4.4, but the standard deviation again with the Spider X is so tight. Whereas with the, the my deviation, it could be anything from 0.2 to 7. So that's, I don't like that fact. The skid, so this is the part of the ball that skids before it starts rolling. 26.8 uh, or 26.2 is an average, but again, the standard deviation is a lot tighter with the Spider X. And then time to roll, 0 0.31, 0 0.32 seconds. Um, pretty similar, st same sim standard deviation. Distance to roll is a little bit further with the Spider X than it is with my putter, but it, it is carrying an extra couple of inches. So it actually is skidding a bit less and rolling quicker once it lands, basically. Uh, roll spin, this is the revolutions per minute once it starts rolling. So I'm getting a bit more RPM out of the Spider X than I am out of my putter with a pretty close standard deviation. Total distance, 12.3 as opposed to 14 foot one. Standard deviation exactly the same, and my average tendency is to push it 1.7 degrees right with mine, whereas with this it's 0.3 degrees right, so it's a lot tighter. All right, now let's look at the club data. I can't do it on the compare screen because it's decided it's not going to play. So club speed 4.4 mile an hour, 4.5 mile an hour, really st close standard deviation. Uh, efficiency of the club, so this is the ball speed compared to the club speed, 1.5 1.57. So I'm getting more bang for my buck out of the Spider X putter. Um, this is the big one, angle of attack, 1.7 down with the, the blade. You always wanna be hitting up with a putter to try and get it out of that indentation. If you're hitting down on it, you're pushing the ball into the ground a little bit. So the fact that that's up, um, I like that aspect of it. Uh, into out 1.1, 1.3. So there are similar toe hangs. There's a little bit less toe hang on the Spider X than there is on the uh, on the sink, um, face to path, 0.5 closed um, to 1.8 closed. So I don't like the fact that that closes a bit more than my current putter. And that's the only aspect so far that I'm not liking. But is that translating out on the putting green? We'll, we'll be finding out. Um, really toe up with the, the bladed putter. So the toe is sitting up a lot, whereas with this, it's uh, only 1.8 toe up. Uh, loft I'm producing, I'm producing minus 2.1 degrees of loft at impact. That's ridiculous with my putter, whereas with this one I'm putting 6.9 degrees of loft, which is probably a little bit too much the other way, but I'm hitting up on it. Um, and what that's doing is just launching it out of its divot a little bit better. Uh, An impact location was pretty similar. It was pretty central for them both. Um, the only thing that I'm concerned with at the minute is that left close to path is two degrees closed. You want that to be as close to zero as possible. But how is that translating out on the course? Right, 
I'm going to challenge myself now. This is a long pot downhill. What's my distance control like? Let's have a quick look. Oh, it's gone in. That's in. Oh! Thought that was in. I just know what this club's going to do. That's the reason I like it. Whereas with the other one, with that insert, does it just feel hot off the face? Whereas with this, because it's milled, you get that more, I think you get more feedback with it. But those are three great pots. <coughs> it's got some work to do now. Yeah, that feels good. A little bit left. But didn't feel like it came off the face hot. Just felt like controlled. That looks good. That looks good. Yeah. Uh, much of a muchness really. Yeah, it just doesn't feel like it's coming off the face. And what I like with these bigger swings is the face feels a lot more stable than it does with my one. It just feels like it, it's easier to control on those bigger swings. Very similar when it comes to distance control. But I think after looking at those numbers, you can see the consistency of the Spider X over this bladed putter for me. Now everyone's different. Not everyone is going to prefer this over this or vice versa. Everyone's completely different. The numbers suggest that this is the club for me and those putts that I did around the green those first ones just from within six to eight feet all went in with this and they didn't with this and the distance control feels pretty similar if anything this feels a little bit more stable for the bigger backswing than this one does and that's where I can lose this head a little bit is on those longer putts oh what do I do for me, putting is all about feel. It's about confidence. It's about standing over that ball and knowing or feeling like you know that you're going to make putts. With my putter, my sink putter, from within six to eight feet, I always thought I was going to make them. I had that confidence. I have that confidence with them. And the proof has been in the course vlogs where I very rarely miss. But there was something about this. Oh, and the head cover looks ridiculous. It's so nice. Like that's probably one of the best head covers for a standard club you're gonna get. But when this came in, I just love the look of it, but it has to work. It's okay playing with stuff you like the look of, um, which is fine, but it has to work. And the potter is the club I'm gonna use around 30 times around. I'm not gonna hit any other club 30 times around, well, I hope not anyway. Whereas the potter is the one that I'm going to use the most, so it has to work. Now, when I did the data, the data suggested this was the right putter, apart from the face to path was more closed than my sink putter. But when we went out onto the course and I used the lineup, like the lineup marker on this is so good. The lines it's got and the little three dots, it is so good. I didn't miss one. I got six out of six putts um, and I left it running. So you could see that they weren't edited. Whereas with that one, I missed a few. And that was really down to confidence. Like, I just feel with this, I know where the club's going. Especially on those distance pots. Although they were pretty similar, this felt more stable. I have to say, I wasn't a fan of the Spider Putter when it first came out. I had one. I didn't get on with it. I didn't like the fact that the big ball bits bits come out the back. Um, I had it for a few rounds and didn't like it. This one, however, I think is fantastic and it's going in the bag. It is going in the bag at least to test for rounds of golf. Um, from this fitting that I've done for myself, it gives me the best numbers. I've gone out on course and tested it and it's produced the best results. But that sink potter has got a lot. This has got a lot to live up to with that sink potter because I just pop phenomenally with it. I just think this is going to be better. But you've got to try these things. 
Um, in regards to the putter itself, it's got a lovely tailor-made super stroke grip. Um, it looks fantastic. It comes in a series of different options when it comes to collars and necks. There's plenty out there and there's certainly one to fit for everybody. And I always say get fit, especially for a putter because it's the one you use the most. Um, and I've, I've had a few people come down here for putter fittings already um, and we've fit them into the new Ping 2021 putter and the results speak for themselves when they were here. It, the, they were just, it's just confidence. If you can stand over that ball with that confidence, like it's a no brainer. But I'd like to know what you think. Um, after seeing that video, do you think I should put this in or do you think, Lee, you're just changing for the sake of changing when you put really well with your sink? Uh, I'm going to test it. I'm going to go out. I've got the luxury of being able to take these out onto courses and test them. I get that. Um, but I think this is going to stay in the bag, certainly for the next few months, uh, and see what the results are. But if you've liked this video, uh, please do give this video a like and a thumbs up down below. It does help me get this channel out to more people and it lets me know that you're enjoying the content. If you are new to the channel and you're not yet subscribed, please do click that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell and you will be notified when I release videos. I try and release them every other day where possible, uh, but sometimes work and life gets in the way. As always, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all on the next video.